Hey there, friends. Welcome to Crafts and Conversations in Little Rock, Arkansas, where I'm joined by Henry Lee at Vino's. And Henry, talk with me about how Vino's got started here in downtown Little Rock. Well, I had a couple friends of mine and I that were in the investment business and uh, back in 1990, well, late 89, I guess. And we were talking about something else to do. We were all get, kind of getting tired of what we were doing. And we decided to uh, find a place, open up a place that had good beer and good pizza. Talk with me about why you feel it's important to not shy away from bringing beer and politics together. Well, it's just a natural combination. I mean, you know, by the time some of these people get quit talking, they need something to come <laughs> uh, But no, it's, <laughs> it's an extension of that whole, you know, community thing. We've always been big within the community and providing space for fundraisers and, and you know, benefits and charity events and things like that. You know, Little Rock's still a small town, so there's still a lot of crossover, and, and ho hopefully we can continue to maintain civility to a point. Uh, unlike what you're seeing so much of in, in Washington, uh, we still have friends on both sides. Good. Good. So hopefully we're able to have a place where they can both come in. Everybody likes beer. Most people like beer. <laughs> and uh, and just share that and share our opinions without it getting too rough. Moving forward to the 2020 election, because things are only going to pick up mm. moving forward. I guess, what do you hope happens? I mean, ideally, what you would hope is that everybody would get back together and have a little kumbaya moment and shake hands and say, well, let's get some work done. But unfortunately, what we've seen over the last couple of years is coming from the top. Just the continued stratification of our, our, our system. And just the fact that when I was growing up, you didn't care what party people were from. You didn't care what church they went to. And nowadays, it seems to be the center point of most beginning conversations. And if the answers aren't right, then there never is a conversation. And I think that's just a shame. I would like to think that at some point, whatever it takes, new president, whatever, that we bring people back together. 